Wakey, wakey, my jewel. Good morning, Jude. Hey, you're married now. Hmm? So I told you from now on it's sugar. Mm. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> Good morning, sugar. Good morning, my jewel. <laughs> so tell me, how does it feel to be Miss Chukwebuka for the first time? <laughs> it feels amazing. <laughs> Waking up and realizing that you're mine forever. It makes it even better. And I can tell from this smile on your face that waiting till our wedding night was worth it. Yes, sugar, it was. And it was beautiful. And the music you kept playing. Ah, the music. It made the atmosphere more special. You go again, huh? Let me just rest. Let me just rest a little. And we'll go again. In fact, go and get me water. I said, go and get me water to digest the one I've done. I said, go and get me water. Joel? Joel? Good. Yeah. You seem to be emotional about it. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just happy that I'm your wife. So happy. Mm. Mm. So how about mm -hmm. we play my favorite song again <laughs> before we pack up for our honeymoon? Mm. What'd you say? You know, I can never say no, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bigsby. Play my favorite song. Favorite song playing. <laughs> Who is calling you? Oh, it's my boss. Your boss. Hey, come, come, come back here. Are you, are you mad? Don't you have sense? Your boss is calling you. You're, you're walking out. Huh? To do what? Corey, this is work. It's work. I need to take this call. Look, 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 at, look at the thing you're vomiting. Look at what you're vomiting from your mouth. Your boss is calling you by this time of the night. And you're telling me it's work. What nonsense work is that? That's the problem with you. You don't, you don't even have, you don't have sense at all. You don't think. Corey, what is it? What are you even saying? What is it? Are you asking me what is it? This is work. No, you're asking me what is it? I'm talking about this is work. Okay, you're still telling me that it is work. Ah! Are you mad? Are you mad? You don't even have sense at all. You're telling me it, 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 it's work. Your boss is calling you by this time of the night. You have the guts to tell me it's work. In fact, you know what? I am not tired again. Hmm? Come back to this bed. You see that thing your boss wants to give to you? I am ready to give to you now. Come back to this bed. Are you deaf? I said, come back to this bed. Enter. Pretty, please. Please. Don't, don't allow me. See, don't allow me to descend on you. Don't allow me to, to be so aggressive on you. Come back to this bed. Let's do it peacefully. Lie down. Please. Lie down and turn your back. Oh, 
You're home early. And who are you calling me? When did that nonsense start? Who dropped you off? Who? I said, who the hell dropped you off? Oh, that was my boss. No, look at you. Just listen to yourself speak. Look at what you're vomiting from your mouth. Do you know, do you know you're, you're nothing but a cheap hole. It's very, very easy to sleep with you. All they just need is present a flashy car to you. They carry you in front seat. The next thing you open your leg for a man. No, you, you, don't, you don't even have sense. You don't have common sense. Your brain is not, is not functioning at all. Wait, what is this? Why are you overreacting? Are you mad? Are you mad? You took it here. You're, you're telling me I'm, I'm overreacting. Are you stupid? You're telling me I'm overreacting in my whole house. In my own house. Look, look at how cheap your brain is. Are you the only person in that, in that office? Every time a man is dropping you off, and your brain cannot tell you that this man is up to something. You just big for nothing, no, no common sense. No, you're telling me I'm overreacting. No, come to my house and tell me I'm overreacting. They'll correct you, you know, you know, pick correction, and you're, you're, you're talking nonsense. <sighs> Marriage is indeed a beautiful thing. Ah, my friend, you can say that again. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So you decided not to come back from your honeymoon. You just want to stay there. Mm -hmm. Yes, no. Look, don't blame me. Mm. You see my husband, mm -hmm. the way he pampers me. He wanted me to have the full experience. Okay. Yes. So that was why we stayed longer. But nevertheless, my husband still brings flowers home. He takes me out on dates. He buys me expensive gifts. Ha! Huh. My husband is just... An angel in human form. He's simply oh, the best. God. Oh, God. Arewa, when would you get this kind of love? <laughs> you got love, oh, because I'm so happy for you. Uh, what? Mm, what? See this one. Uh -huh. You and Deji, two of you, love birds back in those days. You people wanted to finish me with love. You're telling me I got love. Oh. <laughs> love you, Nastatam. <laughs> but even at that, if you had your fair share of men, um, what was the name of that boy again? Uh, what's his name? Corede. Ah. Despite everything you went through with him, you still found a way to create happiness for yourself. I'm so happy for you. I could. I remember when I came to see you. True. That's another black eye. It was an accident. I hit my head while coming downstairs. June, just stop. I'm not a child. Stop lying to me. Korede hit you again. Abby? June, what are you doing to yourself? Do you want this man to kill you? You know better than to support domestic violence. So what should I do? Emma, what do I do? Leave him. Yes, you should leave him. This man is just your boyfriend. He's not even your husband and he's only doing this to you. Why are you sounding as if you don't know I don't have anywhere else to go? You know, I'm trying to save up money to get my own place. Look, I just have to put up with him until I'm able to fend for myself. Till he kills you then. If I live here, where do I go? This man, this man belongs to a psychiatric hospital. He's a devil. I need you to see him for who he is. I see. Answer me. So you're sitting on my couch listening to this fool speak evil about me. Hmm? hmm? No, hmm? no, I. Oh, Matt. Ah! You, Matt. No, what? What, 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 what do you want to do? No, no, touch her again. Touch her if I don't break your head. If I don't, if I don't break your head, call me an animal. Touch her again. No, you pushed me in my own house. You pushed me in my own house. You know, I never liked you. I never liked you. I've warned you several times to stay far away from you. But for one reason or another, she doesn't listen to me. <laughs> stay far away from me so you will kill her. 
You know, you're the reason why people think Yoruba people are wicked. You're the true definition of a Yoruba demon. That is what you are. Get out of my house. Oh, what will happen? You will beat me. Will you hit me? Do you think I'm June? What will happen? Eh? Oh, God! Are you okay? So, do I don't look like June to you? Try it next time! If I don't rain down curses on you, if I don't break your head! Don't you must be mad! I don't try to do that! Ah! It's okay, just... Calm it down for you, you're doing anyhow! Try me, I will show you I'm a true decision of a Yoruba woman! Try me now! If I don't show you Pepe! If you don't have Pepe in my hand, you don't like me! Try it! See me now! See me here! I will never forget the look on his face. I won't. But my girl, I'm so happy for you. Genuinely happy for you. Hmm? I remember. And I remember. Mm. I want to thank you. Thank you for being an amazing friend. Thank you for always being there for me. And I'm grateful for our friendship. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for always being there for me. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. <Cheers. laughs> Chile, I am I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm really sorry that food is not ready, but in 15 minutes, I will just round up, okay? Wait, food is not ready. It's not ready, but 15 minutes... It's not ready. It's not. Come here. My sweetheart. Yes. Come on, now take this clothes off for me. Why are you excited about food not being ready? I'll tell you in a bit. Just take it off first. So, my sweet girl, come. Mm -hmm. I left the office early today because I wanted to come help you cook. Yes. Cook? Uh, of course. Because we don't have a maid yet. Are you kidding? Kidding? Oh, you're serious. Me? Why would I be kidding? What is wrong with a husband helping his beautiful wife in the kitchen? Wow. Okay. So come. All right. Come show me the first thing I'm going to I'll do. I'm trying not to burn the house down. <laughs> if you want to. You're talking to a master chef here. All right. So. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> well, you're not going to say it. Ah. <laughs> Honey, this food is super duper delicious. <laughs> I never knew my husband is a good cook. Oh, yes, I am. Hmm. Maybe I should take over the kitchen dishes. Hmm. You know, that won't be a bad idea. <laughs> when I come back from work, I just take off my clothes then, head straight to the kitchen. <laughs> make it something nice. Prepare all the special deliciousness for me. Mm, of course. Mm -hmm. This is not where my prowess stops. And I can actually make all kinds of soup. You're kidding. <laughs> you can make soup. I will even pound the yam for you. Not uh -uh. that um, pounder machine you use, baby. If I pound you yam. Uh-uh. <laughs> Is a chef now. Yes. Uh -uh. We don't just go about bragging, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you will not become the woman and let me be the man? <laughs> hmm. So at the office today, mm -hmm. a friend of mine came by. Okay. He told me about this resort in town. And I was surprised that we've not even gone there. Honey, don't tell me you're trying to plan another weekend getaway. Of course. Go back from one. Wait, from are, you, are, you, are you tired of going out with me? No. So relax. Let me spoil you. No. Oh, you never stop spoiling me. You just like hearing me say this, huh? If I don't spoil you, mm -hmm. who will? No one else. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I can't wait. Of course. I'm seriously anticipating it. All right. You can start packing your bags already. Hmm. 
I love you. And I love you too, sugar. <laughs> hey, Bigsby. Play my favorite song. Favorite song playing. <laughs> Hey, Joel, your sweet husband is ready for work. Come tell me how I look. Judy, Judy, Judy. Um, sugar, Vera. I'm almost done packing your food, okay? Packing? Why? I thought you said you were in a hurry to go to work. <sighs> oh, but uh, work can wait. Sugar, you sounded so urgent. Hey, come here. Now listen, no matter how urgent work is, I must eat every meal my jewel took her time to make, okay? Now give me this one. Now let's go unpack the food, okay? I love you. Oh. Mm. But are you sure you want to assist me? Let's go, come. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Joan. Joan. Hey. You're ready so early. I hope all is well because you usually don't go to work till 8 a.m. Yes, all is well. I have a meeting with a client and I need to meet him in his house this morning. Okay. But um, breakfast is not ready yet. But just give me 15 minutes, I would quickly make breakfast, okay? I didn't know you'd be going to work so early. Let me quickly make you omelette and waffles. I don't understand. Breakfast is not ready. That's exactly what I'm saying. I didn't know that you're going to be going to work so early. I mean, I've been cleaning the whole place, but it's not going to take time. What kind of a woman are you? I'm asking you, what kind of a woman are you? Is that doing anything wrong allowing you stay in my house? Hey, no, no. If you cannot take care of me in my house, then there's no need having you here. I give you a roof over your head, I feed you, I clothe you, I take care of you. The only thing you can do for me, yes! You can't do it on time. I'm sorry. Hey, you mad? Are you mad? I'm talking, you're still talking. Shut. June! Oh, I enjoyed myself. Did you pack some for me? I enjoyed yeah. this food. Did I already sure packed you... some because I know you. I mean, I'm not... like you. <laughs> By all means, I, I like that name. <laughs> Please, you need to pack some more. Let's go to Jide's office. Let's go and show him his wife can cook. So he will see that his wife is a professional cook. I don't think that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Besides, I've never visited Jide at his office before. And I didn't tell him I'm coming there. And so? Yeah, it's always the first time for everything. Go and pack the food. Let's go. We are going now. No, no. I, I don't think I can. What if he gets angry? What if he shouts at me? He may not like it. June, we are talking about Jide here. This man practically worshipped the ground you walk on. Hey, that man sees you like an angel. That man literally gets... Joy, the joy in his face when he's talking to you, when he's... I look at both of you and he's so romantic. He's, he's, he's romantic, he's perfect. It's just, you two are perfect together. I know what I I'm talking know. about. I know, yes. You know, Jidena is so romantic. <laughs> Girlfriend, I can't even start telling you. The way he loves me, the way he cherishes me. Huh? Do you know, I never believed a man can love a woman like this before. I swear, I never believed it. It's like a dream. Oh my God, you're in love. You're so in love and I'm so yeah. happy for you. I am really happy for you, genuinely. <laughs> I am so happy that my friend is happy again. <laughs> I know. And you know what? Uh, tell me. I want you to guess how many women you think Jidina has dated in his life. Yeah. Just um, guess. Mother boy is fine, no. 
Ah, ah, he's fine. He's tall. He's cute. He can cook. He's romantic. Mm -hmm. In short, he's the perfect spec for me. No, sorry, the spec for my friend. <laughs> In short, he's the spec for every woman on this set. I think like 10 or 11, 12, 13, 10. 14. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Do you know that Jidena has only dated two women in his entire life? Two. Mm. You're telling me Jidena have only slept with two women slept before with... marrying me? No. He has dated one and got married to one, which is me. Huh. <laughs> see, I'm not trying to brag or anything, okay? But you see my husband, he is every woman's dream. He is. He is. He is, he is God sent. How he loves me, mm. how he pampers me. Mm. Do you know that my husband helps me cook? Huh. He assists me with house chores. He even apologizes when he's wrong. Even when I'm wrong, he apologizes to me. How many men will do that? Yeah. <laughs> because Femi will not try that one. No problem. It's not a problem. And do you know the sweetest part? Mm -mm. Hey, anytime we want to make love, there is this beautiful, this romantic song he plays in the background, you know, to get me in the mood, to spice things oh. up, you know. Ah, okay, I, stop it. He pays attention to details. He pampers me like a queen. Oh. Junior, my friend, you know mm -hmm. that, Abby? No problem. Femi and I, <clears throat> we are officially coming for love lessons from your husband. Really? Yes, please. <laughs> and then make sure that all the songs you used to play for you when you're making love, you write it out for me. See, you and Femi, and no matter don't tell me. Two of na. Me and Femi are the same feathers. We are talking about this new love. You wait. We are talking about <laughs> this man that has and everything. Please, <laughs> please. I let go and get pen and paper. <laughs> when should we come tomorrow? Hey, sugar. <laughs> hey, my jewel. God, you look so stunning. Mm. And you look very handsome. How was your day? Oh, my day was good. It was just there. I remember yeah. I came around. Oh, she did? I'm sure she must have finished all the foods in this house. <laughs> <laughs> you know her too well. Yeah. She did. Oh. She came and ate. I thought as much. <laughs> and she even wanted me to bring some food to you at the office. Okay. But I didn't think that was a good idea. Why? That's because I don't know how you're going to react. I don't want to get you angry, so... Wait, babe, what other reaction is there to give them to be extremely happy? If you had brought that food to the office today, God, I would have been... Probably would have even danced. <laughs> yes. Are you serious? Of course. Well, I, I never knew you were going to be happy. Oh, God. Babe, look. My office is your office, okay? So feel free to walk in any time you like. <laughs> and I got you something. Another gift? Yeah. Babe, do you have to buy me gifts every time? Yeah, if I don't buy you, who will? Maybe you're my jewel. And there's a reason I call you that. Okay? So what did you get? Hold on. You'll find out in a bit. Oh my god. Looks good, eh? Babe, this must have cost you so much. Yeah. Now come. Beautiful. Oh, you're welcome. Why did you come to my office today? Sorry? You mad. I'm asking you a question, you're telling me sorry. Is something wrong with your brain? Kwaiti, I don't understand. Why are you shouting? I repeat myself, why did you come to my office today? Well, I went to the salon close to your office, so I thought I should probably check up on you. Did I do something wrong? You did everything wrong. Everything is wrong with what you did. No, tell me, don't I come home? Huh? 
Don't I come home? Why would you appear in my office unannounced? Huh? No, I, I, I see the problem. So because I allow you living with me in my house, you don't see yourself as my wife or something. Now listen to me, I listen very good. My workplace is my workplace. The next time you show up unannounced, then we are done. Idiot. Baby, I'm ready to go to work. Oh my God. Baby, you're burning. I'm not feeling too well. Well, in that case, I... What are you doing? I have to take care of you. She did you have to go to work. What are you even saying? Work and wait. You just hold on, Jake. Sugar. I don't want you to miss work because of me. You, need, you seem to forget every time that I'm my own boss. Just allow me to take care of you, please. We need to drop your body temperature. It's too hot. Come here. Jeez, is this fever or what? Now what is going on here? Hmm? Is it that the bed in the bedroom is too small for you to sleep on? That you have to come fit yourself on my sofa? I'm sorry, I just, I thought I'm not feeling too well. You're not feeling too well? Why not go to the bedroom and sleep? Huh? Does sleeping on this sofa make you any better? I'm sorry. Just that I don't feel good at all. Shoot. <sighs> what is wrong with you? I don't know, I have this, this severe migraine and my eyes are burning up. I feel cold in and out. <laughs> no, listen to yourself. Listen to yourself, speak. Are you a child? Huh? I have severe migraine, I have cold in and out. So what if I traveled? Huh? This is how you would have died in my house and the next thing they would say that I, use, I used you for money ritual. Kuridi, please, can you help me get drugs at the pharmacy? Or better still, take me to the hospital. Please. Really? Huh? I should take you to the hospital. You know you don't have pity at all. I give you a roof over your head. I clothe you. I feed you. I take care of you. You still want me to pay hospital bills? Huh? No, you want me to pay hospital bills? It's like you're not serious. Madam, take. You take this money. You go to the market and buy food stuff for jello fries and chicken. Mike and his wife are coming over for dinner. Kuridi. So you want me to go to the market in this condition? Are you not a woman? Huh? No, I'm asking you, are you not a woman? Women work better when they are sick. You're not the first person to do it. And what are you still doing here? Madam, will you move? Move your body! <sighs> oh, clothe you, feed you, you still want me to pay, to pay hospital bills? You're not, you're not serious. All right, my Joel. Please, would you sit up a bit so I can feed you this soup? 
No, you have to. You have to, because we'll go to the lab to do some tests. And hopefully get some medication for you after the result comes out. All right? So, I made you this. Open up. It's hot. I know. Sorry, just open up. You need it hot so you can sweat out the sickness, okay? All right, let's go. Sorry. Hope it tastes good. You Keep like it. Well. Thank you. Will you eat some meat? How are you feeling? Ah, my dear, I feel much better. All oh, thanks to God and my husband. Hey, everyone, you did nice God sent. Mm. He's heaven sent to me. So I'm blushing for you. <laughs> this man really took care of me. He took proper care of me. Do you know that he skipped work for three days? Three days, just to make sure that I'm fine. Just to make sure that I'm okay. Hey, you see men like Jidena, they had to come by. You're blessed. Hmm. You can say that again, man. You can say that again. You know, I believe this is just a compensation from God for all the sons of Pharaoh that have come by. I'm telling you, my friend. Hmm? I wanted to talk to you about something, okay? Don't get mad at me for that. I'm Why? just looking out for you. Um, your husband, Jidena, he, he seems too good to be true. He's, it's weird. It freaks me out. How do you mean? Your husband, he doesn't drink nor smoke. Neither does he womanize. That's kind of weird to me. And... <sighs> I don't understand you. But I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't chase men. But my husband doesn't do those things. I, I see it as... I see it as a normal thing. Ha. See, trust me when I tell you this. My husband is different. Jidena is different. Here we go. I want to believe this picture you're painting for me. I want to believe everything you're saying, but I've seen you go through the worst of the relationships and I don't want you to go back there again. I don't want to ever see you cry or shed tears for anyone. This is me just looking out for you. June, nobody is perfect, but your husband is. What if she's right? Never seen any man who doesn't get angry no matter what. We dated for 10 months before marriage. For that 10 months, Chidena never got angry at me for once. The only time I've seen him angry was at his secretary for losing one of his documents. And he didn't really get that upset with her. Is there any man like this? Who doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, doesn't womanize. Come on now. Truly a man should be able to do one of these things, right? Hmm. Maybe I'm overthinking things. My husband is different. That shouldn't be a problem, right? I should be proud. The guy did everything to try to convince me to move mm. into what's like tech and all. Mm. But I told him I'm going to look into it. It looks like something that is going to be like the future. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And it was like saying the stuff is going to help move my business as well. And I could actually apply it to my current business. Mm, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. I think you should actually look think, into it. Yes, yeah, you should. Yeah. But that's after I was trying to steal someone. I was trying to sweet, like to bring it, bring on board on my own project. I was trying to convince <laughs> me to join his as well. Ah, like, that's crazy. <laughs> I can tell. I can tell, my love. Imagine trying to convince a client, and the client is convincing you too. <laughs> <laughs>
But the good part is at least, first of all, we first had an arrangement for mine first. Okay. Mm, yeah, so. Mm, that's nice. Was it hard not to crack with that guy? He likes to gist. Gosh. Um, <laughs> yeah. Can I see your phone? My phone? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah. You see the look on his face when he found out that... <laughs> I had a proper word in with the gist. <laughs> Alright. Um, it's locked. Oh, it's your birthday, the password. My birthday? Yes. Oh, look, sorry, I changed it when I met you. <laughs> That's really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you were saying? Um, so yeah, the, the client now. I finally convinced him and he's on board. Hmm. Hope you're on point for that our show. Yeah, yeah, show. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I really mind. Do you think this guy is really going to marry that girl, Damien? He said, sorry? I said, do you think Damien is going to marry Richella? <laughs> I, I hope so. My dear, I'm telling you, I saw nothing on his phone. Nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So wait, you asked him for his password and he willingly gave it to you. He willingly gave it to me. Ha. You know when I took the phone, the phone was locked. So I asked him for his password and he gave it to me. Ha. Yeah. Wait, did you check his Snapchat? You know that's where they hide their women. Girlfriend, I checked everything. Both his Snapchat, WhatsApp, Instagram, everything. Yes, I didn't, I didn't see anything. I turned that phone upside down. Nothing. Hmm. Maybe we are the ones blowing this whole thing out of proportion. No. Probably there are still good men out there. And hmm. Jidena is one of them. See, and my husband is different. That's the truth. Ha. You see, I think Jidena is created to be a created to be a perfect gentleman. Eh? That man is just different. Wow. The way he treats me, my husband is different, honestly. Ha. <gasps> see, as long as he's not treating me bad, mm -hmm. I'm not thinking about I won't let this bother me again. Yes, so I support you. I won't you. let it bother me, my sister. I support you 100. Yes, Our so. Jidena is perfect, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> I told you not to drink. You said you wanted to try something new. Hey, now look at you, baby. I'm not drunk. <laughs> oh, really? I'm not drunk. Do I look drunk to you? That's what a drunk person will say. I just drunk very little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just little alcohol. <laughs> You're saying I'm drunk. Mm. Oh. Mm. Babe, I want you. I want you now. Mm. Mm. Ah, now you're mm. really drunk. No, I'm not drunk. Come on. I want you to make love to me, baby. No, babe, look. What no. you need is a cold shower. No! What I want, I want my husband. I want you. I want you. I want you. You're so naughty. I want you. Okay. Big wait. Hey, Bigsby. Play my favorite song. Song not found. Uh huh. Wait, hold on, hold on. Um, um, Bigsby. Play my favorite song. Song not found. What do you mean not found? Hey, Bigsby. Hey, come on. Play my favorite song. Okay. <laughs> song not found. What? Song not found. Wait, 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 wait hold on. Wait. wait, hold on, please. Oh, hey, don't do this. Baby, it's gone. Then play another song. No, 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 no. Does it have to be that particular song? Yes, you know, I like to make love in a kind of way. Please, hold, just hold on. Let me just get this downloaded and stop. I don't understand. I mean, what sort of stupid song is all this? Just... Why does it have to be that song? Maybe just relax, okay? It, it'll be over in a bit. It's gone. Are you kidding me? How did... Wait, wait. How did it go? Babe! Oh shit! Babe!
My jewel, I'm sorry. I don't get it. I just don't get it, Chidena. I understand that you love that song so much. And that you enjoy sex more when the song is playing in the background. But when you couldn't find the song, why didn't you just continue with the sex? Or look for another song. Must it be that song? I'm sorry. It's just that that song is evergreen to me. And it helps me get the mood right. But the mood was perfect. I love the mood. The mood was perfect, Jidina. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, can we go back up so that I can make it up to you? Just pick up from where we stopped. Please. Huh? Hmm? Mm -hmm. What is it? She don't have an erection. But I don't? Yes, you don't. Look at it, you don't have an erection. Um, like, I don't know. You don't feel my touch anymore. Oh no, babe, I feel you. No, you don't, you don't. Don't tell me that. Look, look at me. I'm in the mood to make love to my husband. Yet you don't even have an erection. You're not even, nothing is standing, nothing. I'm sorry. What is this about? No, tell me. Is that someone else? What? Yes. No. Because the only way a man would feel this way is when he's distracted emotionally. Babe, I feel Is that you. someone else? There's no one. Okay, there's no one. It's just you, my wife. What are you saying? I'm not doing this again. What? Oh, babe, come on. You do this. I said I am not doing this again. Joel, Joel, please. Joel. We shall forgive you, baby. Hey. I almost done setting the dining. You look beautiful today. That's a secret. Nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm always beautiful, right? Cardi, mm -hmm. what is it? Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Cardi, see, I am not in that mood. Stop, I am not in the mood for that. Don't worry, you'll be in the mood, okay? Cardi, can you just stop this? Stop it, you're hurting me, stop! Cardi, stop it! June, I don't see why you're making a big fuss out of this whole thing. Mm? Just let it go. Yeah? Really? Mm-hmm. No, Arara, you see nothing wrong in my husband not having erection after a long time of foreplay. You see nothing wrong with that. I am not saying I did not see anything wrong. I'm saying, have you considered the fact that he might be tired or he's not in the mood to perform his duties? Ah, uh, no, 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 Arara, you can't tell me that. It's beyond that. It's beyond it. Ha. Huh. To be honest though, I think my husband is seeing someone else. You must be a woman. Clean your mouth. What kind of talk is that one? Jidena that we know. The same Jidena that you keep saying, he loves me, he treats me like, ah, ah, you can't be judging this man like this now. Just because of one small, it was just a small thing. Leave it, let it go. Just let it go. Okay, wait. Do you remember the day you came to me crying? That Koyede makes love to you like a whore. Koyede. Yes? Um, please, I want to talk to you. No? Yes, I promise I won't take much of your time. Please. Okay. Koyede. Do you love me? I knew it. 
I know it's that this conversation will be a very stupid one. You know, you live in my house. I take care of you. So why would you think I don't love you? Here we go again. Must you use every opportunity you get to remind me of everything you are to me, of everything you've done for me? Is, is there any way in my words that is a lie? I take care of you. I do everything for you. And I appreciate everything you do for me. But, Kurede, you don't make love to me. You don't even put me in the mood. You don't, you don't care if, if I'm in the right mood. You just do your thing as long as it pleases you. And sometimes it hurts me. Look at the nonsense you're vomiting. Hmm? Do you have sense at all? So I should wait for you to be in the mood. No, I should sit and wait for you to be in the mood before I do what I want to do in my house. Huh? Great day. I see you don't have sense at all. Great day. You have a good man, John. A very good man. I appreciate that. I read what? Look, it's not... It's not as if I don't appreciate you, Dana. I do. I appreciate him so much. But... What happened last night really got me scared. He <clears throat> makes me question his faithfulness and loyalty. Don't do that. You shouldn't have to. It's a one-time thing and he's just... It happens. People get tired. You're not in the mood all the time. So cut him some slack. Just let it be. It's just, just I don't know, let it go. Hmm? Don't even do that. Jidena, he's, he's different. I've told you that before. He's, he's just perfect for you. Okay? He, he, half of the things he does for you. My husband have not even dreamt of doing it for me. I'm telling you the truth. So don't judge him based on one issue you have with him. It doesn't make sense. Come on. This is your husband we're talking about. Hmm? Just let it go. I think you're right. Hey. Hey, sugar. My jewel, come here. Mm -hmm. How was your day? It was good. How are you? I'm okay. So, um, like I know, I've already apologized a couple of times, but I still feel really guilty about that night. Sugar, look, you don't need to feel guilty, okay? You've apologized to me severally. And like I said before, I'm also very sorry. I know I overreacted. I should have been more understanding. Hmm? I'm sorry. It's okay, come. Mm -hmm. I got you something. You got me something? Mm -hmm. Another gift? Something small. You buy me gifts every single day. Huh? I know. Okay? And I pledge to spoil you for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. So go wear that. I'm taking you out to dinner. Dinner? Sugar, we didn't make dinner. Can we do this next time? No. I'm taking my wife out tonight. Okay, so will you please do me the honor and grace me with your beauty? All right. Yes, my husband, I will. Okay, so. <laughs>
takes me way too deep. I'm in twine. Mm -hmm. Yes, I found love, and oh, it feels too good to be true. The way you flutter my heart makes me way too high. I'm in twine. I don't mind being known when I got you forever. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm in love, love, love. I'm in love, love, love. And I don't mind being known when I got you forever. Hey, see my friend though. <laughs> she will not leave country and I don't forget about me. <clears throat> the way you're shining. What do you expect? Wait, but I hope you visited that place I asked you to visit. Eh, I did. You and did? Uh, Femi decided he wants to chip in out on me. <laughs> the yeah? coffee is too expensive. We should have just gone to somewhere else. But you know your friend. I will not try that rubbish. Uh -uh. We stay there, we die there. I trust and, like, you. And I got my pictures for Instagram. Uh -uh. She didn't buy me. Gen, 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 gen. I trust you now. <laughs> So wait, oh. mm. I'm surprised the way you guys came back early. I thought you people were going to be there for like a month or so, you know. You thought, me, I did not thought like that. So I know Femi, I know the husband I married. Hey. Mm. Femi will stay one month without mm. focusing on his job. It's not possible. Hey. Our love is not as sweet as that of yours and them. Um, but even Dina. this your husband, so he needs to rest. Ah. Every time, walk, walk, walk. He's a point time and enjoy himself, oh. Please, um, next time I need to record this. When I get home, I'll play it for you. <laughs> You know, say our love never two days as you and she didn't now own now. Mm. On our own, see the strong. He didn't need the sweet to make a year word. Yeah, and Femi. Don't worry. Very soon we'll become old couples like you people. You know, we are still free, so we have to enjoy the, you know. Don't say that again. <laughs> Although, new in two years to come, I am quite certain that the love Jide has for you is not going anywhere. It's not amen, possible. Amen, no. Uh, amen. That's so why you're not saying amen? Yeah, I don't want you to get old. <laughs> that's my prayer. This is what you're saying, chipping, chipping, mm. chipping. Yes. I hope you did not see chipping my gift, though. The one you said you would get for me. Okay, you know when I was saying chipping, you don't understand what I was saying. Mm. I don't understand. I did not chipping when I was buying my clothes or the shoes or the accessories. Yeah. But then, your gift, you're just telling how personal. So I just speak my random to them. Are we one? Yeah, many help person. No, I'm wait, saying I should not come and be spending. Like wait, face. No, oh, make I see it. I cannot be spending money yeah, on you. If I spend money on my. Mm, you like that? So which one do you like? I'm thinking this one. This one, right? Yeah, this one is cool. Okay. okay. Yeah, <laughs> like it too. Okay. Yeah, like it too. I need one for myself. Okay. Yeah. Also, okay. Are you sure we shouldn't just share the same one? Mm -mm, no, you get yours, I'll get mine. I want to use what you use. <laughs> I want to look like you. Yeah, I want Whoa, to look like you. you. Hey, is, is this that, you? So, Fina. Hi. Is this you? Oh. Yo. Oh. Fina. <laughs> How are you? Uh, I'm good. And you? You look good. Yeah, yeah. I try. Uh, but you, you, you look good too. Uh, <laughs> Each didn't do oh anything my on God. you. My God, you look uh, just the same. You look so good too. Uh, you've done so well for yourself. Yeah. I'm proud. <laughs> <laughs> are you married now? 
You see? You look great. Your ringtone. Uh-huh. You still use the song. Sure, you know it's our favorite song. I play like every day. Every wow. day. Wow. wow. <laughs> so long. I can't believe this. Come here. Wow. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my god. Oh. When were you going to tell me? If there's nothing to tell. Hmm. She was my past, and that's all she will be. So I heard a man usually have one ex that he's still in love with. Sofina happens to be yours. Don't be so dramatic, June. <sighs> Fina and I ended So years. I am June now! So now you call me June. You know, I was so stupid to think that my husband was a perfect gentleman. I was wrong. I thought you were different. Oh, babe, but I'm different. I am. You're different. How are you different? Tell me how. beginning to make sense to me. You're still in love with your ex. You're still in love with her. Can you stop? Let's not blow this thing out of proportion. Now I get it. Now I understand. I understand what's going on. That was why you couldn't get erection the other night. That's because you see her in me whenever we make love. That's why you play that 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 song. Gosh. I was so stupid. I was so foolish to think that my husband was being romantic that because my husband loves me, you put her body in me. John, please calm down. Okay, I beg you, please. Why did you marry me? Why did you marry me when you were not over your ex? Because I didn't want my ex. I was done with her. We didn't walk out and I moved on. Swear to me. Swear to me, Jitena. Swear with everything that you hold sacred that you do not love that girl anymore. <laughs> Swear to me! Swear to me, Jitena, that you don't love that girl anymore. Swear to me! You can't. You can't even swear to me. Because you still love her. You still love her. You know you still love that girl. Why? You can't even swear to me. She was my everything. We loved each other so much that it made everyone around us jealous. Hey, Maker, what is it now? Where are you? I've been waiting for you for close to two hours now. From the moment I saw her, something in me asked me to go after her. Her smile was the best smile. I have ever seen in my entire life. The smell of a perfume hypnotized me. And all of a sudden, I just want to hug her. Hi. It looks like your mechanic is stressing you out. Yeah. 
I've been waiting for him and I had a meeting um, here earlier, but I decided to get my car over here instead of taking it home and I still cannot find him. This is like two hours now and I've been, I've been standing here waiting for this man. Um, sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, hi. Um, don't mind me, I'm Fina. Jidenna. Okay, nice meeting you. Yeah, nice <laughs> meeting you too. Um, you know, there's a place you can actually sit while you wait for your mechanic to come. Okay. So, I hope you'll be sitting with me as well. I don't mind. I don't mind too. Welcome to my little place. Little? Mm. You call here little? <laughs> wow. This house is just as big as my father's house. And you call it little. You don't know what that word means. <laughs> <laughs> Please make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Thanks. Lovely. Thank you. So, um... What can I offer you? I have um, spirits, wine, vodka, juice. Now, why is it that water is never included in those lists? Why? She just gave me water. You know, I have to keep my skin hydrated too. <laughs> my bad. All right, I'll get you water then. Thank you. We became very good friends, even though her father was a minister. She came to me as a very simple, down-to-earth woman. With all the girls I had around me then, as friends, as colleagues and neighbors, I knew Fina was different from all of them. How she smiled when talking and how humble she appeared when made me want to get to know her more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Um, so, do you want me to get you something to eat? Eat? As in food? Yes. <sighs> nah, I wouldn't want to run the risk of eating what some other lady I don't know prepared. No, 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 there, there's no other lady. I cook myself. You mean you can't cook? Yeah. You'll be surprised by the number of things I can do. Ah, wow. I'm, I'm impressed. And I would like to try anyway. Okay. So you want to see my kitchen? Yeah, of course. Let's let me okay, sit I'll here. Show you, I'll show you the way. All right. Mm. Not lead the okay. way. This is your house. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Oh, God. We were always together. She goes almost everywhere with me. She understood my madness and gave me the exact same energy. It was so beautiful. She wouldn't let me pay for anything. She always wants to take responsibility for everything that concerns me. It was at that moment I realized I wasn't the only one catching feelings. I felt the genuineness in her voice. She couldn't just lie to me. I knew then and there that she likes me as much as I liked her. She became my best friend. She made me so happy within that short period of time. She tells me everything that happens around her and I tell her everything that happens around me. We were two people with one soul. Fina. Finally, you're back. She didn't call to tell me you were coming. Uh, okay, uh, I was bored at home and I decided to drop by to see you. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Well, you're always welcome here. Yeah, but I'm kind of surprised that 
no woman came out to disturb me, uh, send me away. <laughs> okay. Okay, just come in. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. Hey, what is this that has been giving you this headache? For a long time now, I have been watching you. What's all this? What's the headache all about? If you're having issues, why not just leave it? It's a must. I just hate to be in this position right now. It's really frustrating. What? So I'm trying to convince an investor to buy a property. I have this property at Ikoi. I just want to sell it, take the money and put it into some other properties that I've been trying to develop for a while now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I kind of used a whole lot of money on that project at um, Ikoi. So, mm -hmm. kind of cash dropped. So I just need to sell it. She became my best friend. She made me so happy within that short period of time. She tells me everything that happens around her. And I tell her everything that happens around me. We were two people with one soul. It was that moment I knew she was my soulmate. I began to love what she loves and dislike whatever she hates. She complimented me in so many ways. I have always loved her, but never had the courage to say to her, but you see that night, this night changed everything. <clears throat> Wait, 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 Joel, sorry, Joel, wait, wait, hold on. What? What is it? Wait, hold on. Okay. I've not done this before. What? Are you for real? song for you. Just go with the rhythm. It will help you. Baby, yeah. can you play your favorite song? Which is not my favorite song. <laughs> you know, you're my jewel. And you're mine too. Okay. Mm. 
I will gladly. <laughs> ah, remember, go with the rhythm. Sure. This is super, super delicious. Ah. Mm. Thank you. I'm such a great cook. <laughs> like my stomach. Ah, I pity you. <laughs> Thank you. You cook so good. Yeah. Who taught you? Your mother? Yeah. Hmm. She did a perfect job. Mm-hmm. Oh God. I don't believe this. You sure you made this? You sure you did? You. <laughs> Once we get married, you're taking over the kitchen. Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, worry, I don't mind cooking for you morning and night. Mm, <laughs> praise God. <laughs> Thank. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Well, everyone will smell the kitchen. Mm. <laughs> oh God. Well, let me give you. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hey, give me now. Give me. Okay. Mm. You want meat? Mm-hmm. You didn't give me meat, but you want meat. Okay. No, not this one, that one. This one? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, um, I talked to someone about your company. Mm-hmm. He's interested in buying 30 properties in different locations. Mm. So I told him I have a good and reliable real estate developer. Wow. Well, he's going to call you for a meeting pretty soon. <laughs> do I deserve you, Fina? <laughs> what did I do to deserve a woman like you? I don't deserve you. Just let me know once he calls you. And please don't forget, this is really huge. Getting a client who is ready to acquire such an amount of property from one agent is really huge. Please don't try to screw this up, my Joel. I'll do my best. I have never seen a woman who wants to see her man grow so bad like Fina. I got the contract with the man she introduced me to, and I was paid heavily for those properties. But everything was about to change. Come in, I'll be there in a bit. Just give me a minute. I'm coming. Hey. Oh, my love. I've missed you so much. Come, come. Come in. Where have you been? I've been calling you non-stop. You just haven't been picking my calls. Come, sit. All right? Baby, sit, sit. Sit. Cool. Baby, you just left me like that. I've been trying to reach you. You, you, you just... You know what? Okay. It's fine, okay? Let all that can wait. But you see, I, I have something I've been wanting to tell you. Um, babe. I'm getting engaged. I... What? I'm what? leaving next week to join my fiancé. Are you serious? Cannot be true because oh, your fiance. What about me? What about us? What are we? Explain. I don't understand what you're saying. What? I love you. 
I really love you. You taught me life. Before you came into my life, it had no meanings. You brought life to me. You taught me love. You showed me how to enjoy life. You gave my life a meaning. But I didn't want to do this. I'm doing this for my father. He feels he owes this man, and hence he wants me to marry his son. It's not what I want. It's not what I want to do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're not joking. This is real. You, 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 you're an adult. Maybe you're an adult. You, 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 you're doing this for your father? What, what are you saying? Look, I love it. Hold on, just stay. Look, let's see you say this. Say this. I got this. I got this. Right? I, I. Marry me, okay, baby? The draw. Look, you cannot do this. Look, if you marry me, look, I love you so much. Look, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. We don't need your dad's permission and we can go without him, okay? We, 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 we can do this. Sorry. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. It will make sense to you right now. If you wear this, just wear it. You will see it. Babe, I can't. Just wear it, please. Just bring the hands and wear it, please. I beg you. I can't. No, 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 no. no. I'm sorry. No, stop. Listen, listen to me, baby. Listen, you can't wear it. You just wear it. I'm sorry. Wear it. Wear it. Oh, wait! Joel! Joel, don't do this in the name of God! I beg you! Joel! Marry me! That day, my world crumbled before my eyes. I breathed. I thought I was going to die. I watched her leave. She left and she never, she never looked back. So all along, all along, I have been living someone else's life. A wedding at the beach, a honeymoon in Maldives, The pet names. Everything. <sighs> Is there anything real between us? anything. <sighs> this is serious. What are we going to do now? Hmm? I don't know. I just don't know. The husband's ex is back into his life. But even as his wife, I don't know where I stand anymore. Why would you even say that? No, 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 no. You said they just met. Not that she's back in his life. They just met. That's it. Abby? You're right. You won't understand. You needed to see the way my husband was praising this woman. My husband literally worships this woman. He praises her like... He praises her like something else. 
he needed to see the way he was talking about her when he was telling me about her. He went on and on saying, praising her, saying all sorts of things. He didn't care that I was there. He didn't care how I felt. He just went on and on. I, I, I don't think he doesn't care, okay? Don't, don't make um, uh, a mountain out of this. Just relax, okay? It's not a big deal. Don't, don't stress yourself like this. I don't want to lose my husband. I don't want to lose him. I can't afford to lose him. You're not losing your husband. Don't talk like this. Hmm? I don't want to lose that man. Okay. Come. Okay. It feels like I'm losing my marriage. It feels mm. like... You're not losing your marriage. Hear me? Hmm? Relax. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Welcome back to dinner. Since when did you start calling me by my name? Since the day you decided to come home at midnight. Joelle. Don't you ever call me that. Don't call me that again. If you don't have any other pet name to call me, then call me my name. I'm sorry, babe. You've been acting strange ever since you saw Fina. And what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Okay, I'm sorry. I had a lot of work at the office. I had to stay back to finish up. That's why I'm late. <laughs> when a man starts lying to his wife, what does that mean? I'm not lying. I promise. I'll go microwave your food. I've already eaten. Since when did you start eating out? But babe, when it became obvious that I was working late, I just felt like I needed to grab some food. You know I don't like eating late. Sleep well. Yes. Okay. Um, Fina called. She said I should please drive her around for a meeting she has today. Hmm. So now she doesn't have a car. Actually, she does, but she said it's forty. That's why she called. Do you mind if I drive her around today? Why are you asking me? You're obviously dressed to go out. So do whatever you want. You know, it was as if he was waiting for me to say the word, just so he can disappear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My husband has changed though. Jidina has really changed. He now comes home late, he hardly eats my food. And I have this feeling that, that he's beginning to lie to me. Jidena should not try this so. Hmm. Do you know I use Jidena as an example for my husband? She don't just disappoint me. I don't know what else to do. I don't know. Because it seems like he's still in love with his ex. I can't take it. You, you, you know what I've been through. Maybe I should just divorce him and, 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 and let them be. Hmm? Hmm? Yes, maybe I should do that. Don't say that again. No. Is your, is your, did someone hit your head? Is your brain leaking? Please don't say that again. I beg, I beg, I beg. I beg. Remember, this is not a joking matter. 
I'm serious. Eh, hey, so who is joking? I am not joking. You're the joker here. Because why would you want to leave your husband under the assumption that he might be cheating on you? That is madness. Pure madness. Don't say such thing again, I beg. Please. Okay, tell me. What if he goes back to his ex? What if he's still in love with her? He knows she was all he knew before he met me. What if he loves me because of how he loves her? Everywhere I cannot, I cannot deal with all that. I can't compete with that. Listen, let me tell you something. The ex might be, might have taught him how to love, but he loves you now. You should understand that. You're his present and his future. Chidema loves you so much. He wouldn't cheat on you. Just know that. Hmm? He loves you so much, okay? I hope so. I know so. Um, I thank you for waiting this long for me. It's nothing. So, um, would you mind having dinner with me tonight? I'm sure my wife made dinner already. I don't want to get her angry or make her feel bad by eating outside. Pardon me. I forgot you're now a married man. Can I ask you something? Sure. Why didn't you get married to the person your dad wanted you to marry? He wasn't you. We both wanted so many different things, and we couldn't just compromise for each other. Anyways, uh, that also made me realize that you are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Jidena, I still think of you every day. I still think of you too. So, do you still play our favorite song? Hey, Bigsby. Play my favorite song. Favorite song playing. Hey, Joel, you still awake? Coming home late is gradually becoming a habit to you. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I came back late. But why are you still awake, though? Waiting for my husband. Waiting for my husband who left me for eight hours, roaming about with his ex. Oh, no, please. Don't put it that way. Joel. Don't you dare call me that. Don't you ever call me that. I hope you do realize that there is a limit to what I can take. And I am this close, this close to hitting the wall. All I did was just be a friend. She needed me and I was there as a friend. A friend? A friend that is your ex. Now tell me, what kind of friend is that? Hmm? Has he ever occurred to you that I, your wife, might be needing you? Has he ever occurred to you? Has it? Sure. Oh, but of course! <laughs> tell me, how would he occur to you? No, tell me, how would it? When your ex is around, how would you even think of me? Mm. It's not! It's not possible! You can never think of me when your ex is around! Stop. I beg you in the name of God! Okay, don't, don't make it sound that way. Please, don't make it look as if I'm doing something bad. <laughs> really? Oh, so you do not know that you're doing something wrong? No, Jidina, you do not know that you're doing something wrong? 
You do not know that this is all shades of wrong. So you do not know. Now tell me, how would you feel if I was the one, if I was the one frolicking about with my ex? Now tell me, how would you feel? I wasn't frolicking. Okay. She called me, I drove her to a place, and then she begged me to stay back to take her home. That was it, there was no frolicking. Really? I see. But I want you to know that no matter how bad a person is, there is always one good thing to remember about that person. And what do you mean by that? What is it, Lucy? Please don't make me do something stupid. How many times have I warned you to stay out of my business? Yes, it is because of her. Oh, please, will you shut up? She is ten times the woman you would ever be. Now you listen to me and listen carefully. The next time you call my number again, I will look for you and beat the living daylight out of you. Idiot. <clears throat> Was that Lucy, your ex? Yes. She she's so desperate to have me back. I don't know why she's so so shameless to think I I would take her back. Hmm. Sit. No, please come on, sit here. Yeah? Listen to me. It is very, very wrong for a man to go back to his ex. That is the worst thing a man can ever do in his life. Returning back to his ex? No. It's a no, 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 no for me. <laughs> Wait. June, are you comparing me with your ex? I am nothing like that guy. You're gradually becoming him. You are gradually becoming him, Jidina. At least he was able to tell his ex off. But you, you can't. And I do not know why. Well, in case you're hungry, after a long day with your ex, your food is in the microwave. You said it was urgent. Yes. My dad just got back. And I would like the two of you to meet. And then, there's this friend of his that wants to invest hugely in real estate. Really? Yes. Oh, that's a good thing. <laughs> Thank you, Fina, for always having me in mind. Oh, please. You know, I've got you here. <laughs> My heart. <Wow. laughs> oh, she didn't know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Stop, please, Fina, stop. What? Why are you resisting me? No. I just can't do this, I'm married. Oh, please, come on. We both know you're not even happy in that marriage of yours. I'm happily married, Fina. My wife is an amazing woman. And I also know that you want me. Because I see the way you rush at me at every given call. And the way you stare at me. You think I don't notice. Oh, I notice. Wow. 
Fina, look, I'm, I'm sorry if I led you on. But I was just trying to be a good friend because of how good you were to me in the past. But right now, I am happily married and I love my wife so much. And I would never, ever do anything to hurt her. So, um, are you trying to say that you'd rather hurt me? I would rather not treat her love or take it for granted. Look, Fina, for two years, two whole years, I made that woman walk in your shadow. I made her like the things you like to the things you do. She's practically been living your life for so long. Flushing down the person she really is. Just because I wanted to see you in her. So why are you saying all this? Because I need you to get something straight. I need you to understand, Fina, that I am never, ever going to leave my wife for you. And I am going to start seeing her for who she is. I will love her for her. I am going to fall in love with her for who she is. I will fall in love with the things she loves. You know, I saw her cry and it melted my heart. It made me understand that I really love the woman she is. So, Fina, it's either you stay as a friend, or you stay away from me and my family. Wow. Just when I thought something good was going to come out of us. Nothing good can ever come out from wanting a married man. Fina. I, I'm sorry, I need to go. It's, it's okay, it's okay. I understand, totally. And I, I'm sorry for overstepping boundaries. I'm sorry. I'll text you my dad's email address. Do send me your proposal. Thank you. I need to go. Fina. I... I need to go. Yes. What is this? Where are you going to? I'm going home. Home? This is your home. Not anymore, Jidena. Someone else should be here, not me. Maybe no one should be here but you. You are my wife. Please don't give up on us. Well, you already did the moment you chose your ex over me. No. Clearly, you're still in love with her. No, I love you. I love you so much. Babe, please. Look, I'm sorry for everything I put you through. Chitina, I do not want to. I don't want to. Look, I feel guilty about this whole situation. I feel like I am the reason the two of you can be together. I've already said things straight with Fina. I, I told her that she can never be anything more than friends with me. I told her how much I love you. I told her I will never, ever in this life leave you for her. You told her all that? Yes. I love you, Joel. Trust me, everything will be all right. Please don't leave me. Please.
You know, I'm thinking we should go to Santorini. Oh. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. Okay. Who's that? It's Fina. <sighs> I think you should take her call because she's been calling you for days. Hmm. I'm not picking that call because we both know Fina. She's either calling me to come drop her off somewhere, and you know me. I won't be able to say no, so I think it's best I don't pick it. Right? What if it's important? Trust me, it's never that important. All right? Besides, I want to spend time with you. My wife. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. <laughs> Wait, you haven't played your favorite song yet. I don't need that anymore. Because you, you're my favorite song. Makes me way too high, I'm in swine. 